Welcome back to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you step by step how to make a volleyball in Blender. So I've already covered a few different balls. The nice thing about this one is that I'm also going to show you how to do the materials for the volleyball and add a little bit of ambient occlusion and the whole project is just really fun. So keep watching, I'm going to show you step by step how to make it and if you like it subscribe and check out some of my other Blender content which you'll probably enjoy as well. So the new scene opened up in Blender. We're gonna go ahead and tab into edit mode once we've selected the default cube. And we're actually gonna just, with everything active here, we're gonna right click, we're gonna click on the subdivide. We're gonna come here to this little subdivision tab and for the number of cuts, let's give that five. And once you've done that, you're gonna go Shift, Alt and S. So Shift, Alt and S, and you're gonna round that out like so. Okay, and now that we have this done, you can actually see we have the faces of the cube are still here, right? All of the different faces are here, they're just rounded out. So here we've got a face that used to be our cube. Here we have a face, you can kind of see you have these squares coming to an end and then they split off. And these four faces are gonna be really handy. We only need one of them to get started with. So let's just go ahead. And a simple way to do this is just go to your top of a graphic view, just select four cubes, uh, squares over here and go Control plus or Command plus. Just do that two times until it's selected this whole square face at the top, like so. Then you're gonna go Control I to inverse the selection and you're gonna press delete and you're gonna delete faces. So now we have this. Now the thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our top view. We're just gonna select the middle ones like so. And then we're just gonna go E to extrude and then right click to let go. We're gonna go Alt S and just very slightly scale out along the normals and then S just to scale it like so. And then we're gonna grab these guys over here, like so, just these ones. And then also these ones over here, like this. And then what you're gonna do is you can go E to extrude, and you're just gonna extrude them up a little bit on the Z. And now that we've slightly extruded them up on the Z, what we're gonna do with them still selected, is we're just gonna to go to our top view and select only these faces at the top. So while we're holding in shift, we're gonna just select them. So we only have all of the top faces selected. So if you go G, Z and you move them up, you can see this is what we have, but not the little borders that we've created. And now we're gonna go Alt S, we're gonna scale everything out along the normal. So Alt S and scale it out even more, like so. And now if you tab back out, you can go to your modifiers. Let's give this a subdivision surface modifier. You can kind of see this is what we have. So let's for now tab back in. Let's press A to select everything and let's go over to our transform pivot. Let's make it 3D cursor. Our 3D cursor is already in the middle of our world here. So if this is active, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate. And in our front orthographic, we're gonna go R 180 and press Enter. Then we're gonna press A to select all of this. And in our front orthographic, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and then R 90 and we're gonna hit Enter. And if these guys are still active, we're gonna go R X 90 and press Enter. And then with them still active, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and then R followed by Z and then 90. So Shift D, R, 90 and then press Enter. And then one last time we're gonna go R, Y, 90 and press Enter. So now we've created this, our volleyball. Now the problem is, is that they're not kind of stitched together here. So if we tab out, you can see we have these gaps. The simple solution is just to go ahead and give this a weld modifier and drag it above the subdivision surface modifier. And now that issue is fixed. Let's just come here to our subdiv, bump it up to two in the viewport. Let's right click and go shade smooth. And here you have a volleyball. Now you're gonna go G, Z and move it up. So it's sitting on the floor. Shift A, let's add in a plane and scale that up. Tab into edit mode and let's select this edge at the back and go E to extrude and Z. And let's grab this edge here and go control B to bevel and then roll the middle mouse button to add in segments. Tab back out. Right click and go shade smooth. And I'm just gonna delete the default camera and light. I'm gonna go into my front orthographic. Shift A in the front orthographic. Let's add in a camera and go G, Z, move it up. And let's just move it back like so. And now if we go into a camera view, we can see our volleyball. How cool. At this point, let's grab the volleyball and let's change our transform back to median point. Let's double tap R just to rotate and let's get a nice position. So I like this, I think that looks cool. And now we're going to go to our render properties. Let's make it cycles. The device, if you have one, make it a GPU. If not, CPU is fine. And under your render, you're just gonna take the max samples to 60. 
Now make sure to save. Let's save this. I'm saving it to my desktop. And then you're gonna go Shift A, you're gonna add in an area light and go G, Z, move it up. Let's go to our light settings. Let's make that 350 on the strength and then increase the size over here. Now the scale, the strength here is gonna depend on the scale of your scene. So if you had a smaller scene, that would be a lot less power. But in this case, I think looking at the render, this looks okay. So in camera view, just go control B and just drag over your camera to limit the render to your camera view. And then it's up to you to grab your light and duplicate it and reposition it just to get some different lighting. Now I'm just gonna have a few lights primarily coming from the back here like this and then just one main light coming from the front just to give it some lighting. But you guys can go ahead, set it up however you want. For now, let's just grab our floor that everything's sitting on. Let's get our materials, just give it a new material and let's make that darker. So we have some nice contrast. Once again, let's save and now let's go into our shading workspace and let's grab our volleyball here. And by default, it already has a material because we had the default cube we used. So let's just call this material A for material A. And to do this, we're gonna add a few nodes. So for now, let's just drag this up so we have some more space. So we're gonna go Shift A search and get a noise texture. Let's plug the color into the base color here. We're gonna take the detail up to 12 and the roughness up to 12 as well. We're gonna go Shift A search and get a color ramp node and place it over here. Now we wanna go Z up here and go rendered so we can see what this looks like. And let's drag these two values together so we get more contrast. And now we're gonna take this color and plug it into the roughness. And we're also gonna go Shift A search and get a bump node. Take the color, plug it into the height, and then take this normal and plug it into the normal of the principled. And then take the strength to 0.1. Now what we need to do is we need to go Shift A search and get another color ramp. Place it up here on this cable between this color ramp and the principled base color. And let's take these two values and drag them and give them different colors. So I'm gonna go kind of a very light kind of dust kind of color. And this one over here will make it a little bit less in value as well. So we kind of have something that looks like this. And this ball is gonna look a little bit more worn out than your usual ball. And I kind of like that. I think that kind of looks cool. It's got some nice texture to it. But now let's add one more really good detail. So we're gonna come over here to the end. I'm gonna go Shift A search and get an ambient occlusion node. We're gonna go Shift A search and get a color ramp node. Plug this into the factor here and then it visualizes by plugging your color ramp into the material output. And now if you go render, you can kind of drag these values together and you can see the ambient occlusion. We just want to come here and go only local. So it's not taking the floor into account here. And you're gonna drag these values around so you can kind of see the ambient occlusion here in the ball. So in this case, I really have to drag this black value up quite a lot, like so. This might be a bit different for you, but more or less, this kind of gives us our ambient occlusion. Now we can use this as a mix. So if we now duplicate our principal shader, give that a nice kind of darkish dusty brown kind of color and go shift a search and get a mix shader let's place that over here and then plug the two shaders into the shader inputs here and then let's just take that output from the ambient occlusion and color ramp and plug that into the factor here and you may just have to come here and just swap these two around so the dirt is going to the top and the volleyball materials going here into the shader. And that just kind of really gives it a little bit more depth. And I really like the way that kind of comes out. So that's optional, but it really just makes us look really cool in my opinion. So now if you want multiple materials, you can just select all of these nodes in here and all of them and go control C to copy or just right click and go copy. Then with your ball, you can go to your material properties, create a new material and call it B. And now over here, just delete the nodes, right click and go paste. And then you can come here to this principled and you can change the colors and the values. So maybe let's make it like a nice orangey red. And then you just tab into your edit mode and you can select different faces and apply that B material over here. So now if you go Z and you go rendered, you can see we have that different material applied. And you can also change the ambient occlusion material color as well to kind of match it a little bit better. And there we have it. That is how you can very simply make a ball. So now let's go render and render image. And here we have our final render. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this ball tutorial on making a volleyball. Check out some of my other ones. I've covered a tennis ball, a basketball, a baseball, um, and now we have a volleyball. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for another tutorial.